cardiovascular research around the world is limited by a lack of suitable contractile cardiac myocyte cells that can be used to represent the heart in various stages of development, disease, and repair. Work in several laboratories has recently shown that contractile heart muscle cells can be derived from embryonic stem cell lines. Unfortunately, the derivation of human embryonic stem cell lines necessitates the instrumental use and destruction of embryos from fertility clinics. For this reason, human embryonic stem cell research has been the subject of much debate and controversy. Therefore, we have adopted induced pluripotent stem cell technology, first achieved in 2006 by Shinya Yamanaka's lab at Kyoto University. This technology converts adult cells, such as the fibroblast cells shown here, into cells that in our hands appear and behave just like embryonic stem cell lines, but do not require the use of embryos. This project is a great opportunity for students in my lab to learn the basics of animal cell culture. Animal cells, such as the mouse shells we have chosen to work with, must be kept in strict aseptic conditions as they have no defense against bacterial or fungal contamination of the cultures. Shown here is a colony of several hundred small round stem cells derived from a mouse embryo using traditional techniques. And here is a colony of stem cells derived from the tail of an adult mouse using Yamanaka's technique. Notice the nearly identical appearance of these cells. We've also developed several fission strategies in my lab for inducing stem cells down the cardiac lineage into spontaneously contracting heart muscle cells. Shown here is a patch of cardiac myocytes derived from mouse embryonic stem cells. As you can see, these cells form groups that communicate with one another to spontaneously contract in a synchronous wave similar to endogenous heart muscle tissue. And here's a similar patch of beating heart muscle tissue from differentiated mouse-induced pluripotent stem cells. In our hands, the timing and efficiency of cardiac myocyte production using the stem cells from the adult mouse are equivalent to the yield from mouse embryonic stem cells. We use density gradient centrifugation to purify the heart muscle cells from other non-heart cell types. The high density of cardiac myocytes relative to most other cell types makes this a fast and efficient process. If you're a biology or biochemistry student interested in learning these techniques and helping to further characterize these fasting cells, please contact me for more information about stem cell research at Wisconsin Lutheran College.